boss under no circumstances me okay i was working in promotions at a tv station the gm thought it would be a good idea if i was also a sales assistant from 8 to 12 i was only to do sales stuff that was it from 1 to 5 i was only to work in promotions no exceptions it was kind of dumb i know how to allot my time sometimes there was no sales stuff in the morning and other times there was nothing in promotions in the afternoon i did what needed to be done on my schedule then he started sending me emails almost weekly under no circumstances are you to work on promotions before lunch or sales after lunch okay those days with no sales stuff before noon i sat in my office and played games if a salesperson asked me to write a script or enter an order after lunch it would sit there until the next morning even if i had no promotions to work on that afternoon this went on for months until it got back to the gm and he was all i didn't mean that literally work on what you need to blah 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 guess under no circumstances means something different to him i didn't last too much longer i was put in charge of production and promotions with zero help i asked the gm for a raise and he told me that my low pay was job security he didn't even want to give me the creative services director title I ordered new business cards with that title anyways and he eventually caved. I knew my time there was done. You get what you pay for. I was sent to Vegas for the yearly promotional convention. Blew off the whole convention and partied my ass off while charging it all to the station. Went to Gordon Ramsay's restaurant. Saw Jerry Seinfeld. Saw love. Charged it all in tons of booze to the station made it a day and a half back before getting fired had a sales guy whine to the gm because i was so busy and wouldn't drop everything to kiss his ass told him to go fuck himself later on that day i was brought into the gm's office with the sales guy to apologize kind of lost it and told them both to go fuck themselves fired the next morning best thing that ever happened to me I'm self-employed and make more than double what I made at the station with no ass to kiss. Fuck office life. I'm surprised they are still on the air. Edit. The day after I got back from Vegas my backup went on vacation. When I was fired they actually called him on vacation and he agreed to come back. Edit 2 I still got unemployment. It was initially denied because I was fired. I fought the denial and won. Judge said one outburst over 13 years isn't cause for dismissal. They fought that decision and I won again. The low pay is job security, literally saying, we'll fire you before we pay more. Wait, you got fired for telling a sales guy to go fuck himself, not partying in Vegas? Nice. I worked for a large state agency and got in trouble for taking projects that were costing the state millions for outside consultants when there was absolutely no reason we couldn't do them ourselves. Think, we would pull data from a large data system used to report AFCARS data and then hand the data to a consultant who sorted it in exchange for millions of dollars annually. I was told in no uncertain terms to stop looking for projects to do. We were seriously overstaffed. Other workers were running side businesses or playing online games in their downtime. So I decided to translate a couple of 19th century books I found that had letters and stories about great 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 etc grandparents. Took months and is something I probably would never have done if I wasn't so GD bored after i finished the translation i moved to private sector work if only to keep myself from going insane last i heard the in it was still intact with about the same staffing levels just wtf i still got unemployment it was initially denied because i was fired i fought the denial and won 
Judge said one outburst over 13 years isn't cause for dismissal. Important tip of you're in California. That is the law. You must have a pattern of violations for them to deny unemployment. He told me that my low pay was job security. I have no idea how you didn't punch him right then and there. That is insanely insulting. They're saying, you're so underpaid that it wouldn't make financial sense to fire you. I'm surprised they are still on the air. Station probably just went completely automated and everyone is gone now. It happens a lot. Why do companies fight unemployment? Do they have to pay something? In Germany we have an obligatory unemployment insurance so to say. The same as health insurance. So the state pays it. They certainly earned your derision. You had a great judge in your corner. I am currently watching Seinfeld on Netflix and am secretly jealous that you met him. Did you get to meet him personally? I'd like to meet Michael Richards. Grew up with both parents in the press. Stations are weird. Some people get everything they ask for and others get nothing while the boss expects miracles from them. My dad managed to live in a different city than the station. They gave him a news truck, camera and editing gear, microwave transmitter, so he could send stuff to them, etc. Absolutely no one watching over him. Sounds like a radio station for sure. I briefly worked as an intern. Worked a factory job during the day and the station nights and weekends. After a couple of months I mentioned wanting to start getting paid because I didn't make much at the other job and had bills to pay. Working there was an expense I really couldn't afford with no compensation. They told me that I had to put in my time and then I might get hired on. I had already been there 90 days. They acted like they were doing me a favor by letting me work there. Unpaid internships should never be allowed. They just take advantage of people and offer nothing in return. Half the story isn't directly malicious compliance. If you had included a line stating you did nothing work-related at Vegas because it was the wrong hours, it would all be part of the same compliance, while the second half could have been seen as a fallout. But unless you were a superstar, your vacation should have resulted in firing regardless. You should post this to our anti-work. This is great. Low pay equals job security? I think he got that backwards. Low pay means the job position will stay empty. I was a traffic director for about five years at a station where the GM was also sales manager. I do not miss the salespeople. R. Anti-work. TV stations are notorious for wanting to pay people in passion or experience instead of money. Not saying one way or the other. But I would be really interested in the other side of the story on this one. I've never seen such a humble brag about being a terrible employee. Which bit is the malicious compliance? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.